today's expressions, we will be speaking about an ad form that had its origins back in ancient Egypt. This ad form served as a matter of wealth. Have you guessed already what I'm referring to? If you guessed makeup, you're absolutely right. We are joined by the soon-to-be 16-year-old, self-taught makeup artist, and the owner of Beauty Desires, Michaela Martin. Welcome, Michaela. You're welcome, Good welcome. Good morning. Thank you. So at the merge of 15 years old, self-taught MUA, yes, and an entrepreneur, where did, this, where did this all began? This all began when I was about seven years old because I was practicing since I was small. One day I just stumbled upon a video and it happened to be a makeup video. And just seeing that video, it just made me want to get up and do it myself. So from that day, I practice every day, and if not every day, I practice every other day. Amazing. So, you have a business called Beauty Desires. When was this officially launched, and did you practice makeup unofficially? So, you started practicing makeup on yourself when you were about seven, and then you later started your business in 2019, which I would assume you were about... 13 or 14? I was 12. You're 12? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. What gave you the idea to start this business at such a young age? Um, basically, like, I never really saw like, a lot of young people at my age doing what I do. And I just wanted to take it to a next level and to showcase my talent because I knew that I had something and I just wanted to show the world and that's basically it. Yeah, you are. Very true I mean, I don't know if I could have practiced makeup at 12, you know, because <laughs> probably it was like just drawing coloring books and stuff at that time. Like, that counts as makeup, right? It has to count as makeup because, like, it takes a lot of skills to match those colors. It do. It does. Especially <laughs> coloring in the lines. Yes. Oh, like, I mean, you know, that is an interesting thing. Have you ever had clients that have requested a makeup look that was out of the norm? Yes. Could you tell Definitely. Us what I wasn't too sure, like, it, like I couldn't, like I couldn't give them what I want, what I, what they wanted. That's how I felt. But in the end, they actually got what they wanted. So I was actually happy with that. You were that. proud of yourself, and yes. your client was feeling very, very confident. Yes, they were. All right. So, how does practicing makeup out of school and in school, like, how do you balance that out? Um. As far as business, I um, opened after school hours, it's mostly on weekends. Mm -hmm. But when school is closed, then I am free. Um, once I have nothing to do, like other than schoolwork, and I finish all that, then I practice. So you do makeup full time during the holidays and part time during school days. Yes. Your motto at Beauty Desires is makeup magnifies the beauty that already exists. How did you come up with that? Well, to be honest, I, I see it somewhere, but <laughs> I'm not going to say that I used it just because I saw it. To me, it told the truth. Like, makeup, some people think that makeup, you just take it and you just slap it on your face. Like, me personally, I think that it, it enhances the beauty that is already there. You know, I feel like that when your clients hear that, they feel comfortable coming and knowing that you won't try to change up your face, you know? Just going to already, just going to add a little bit of exaggeration yes. rather. So, like, you're already cute, you know, but this thing just make it pop. Yes, it's not the cake. All right. Yes, so Beauty Desires is your business. And, of course, that you are, you, are, you are an entrepreneur. So tell me about your entrepreneurship journey, both the highs and the lows. I could definitely say that entrepreneurship is a lot of work because you got to be all the risk, you got to be the one to do everything. Um, of course, I had help, but most, for the most part, I had to do because, you know, ain't everybody going to know to do makeup and ain't right. everybody going to know what you want. So I had to say what I want. It was a lot of work for these past years. And I remember last year, due to COVID, I had to shut down because... I didn't want to get anybody get sick. So for that period of time, I was very sad because I missed what I was doing. But in that period of time, I practiced on myself and I got a lot, a lot better. 
So, so far the journey has been good. Good. And uh, what would you say are your future goals for Beauty Desires? My future goals is to definitely be doing this on an international scale. Not only locally, but I would like to reach places. And when I say places, like to celebrities, mm -hmm. to people that are well known. Maybe you never even know, maybe Beyonce <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Oh my, oh gosh, I would absolutely love that for you. Thank Honestly, you. I would really love that for you. And um, you, would you use, use other beauty products? For your business, right? Yes. So, would you say that there might be a beauty desire line sometime in the future? Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay, then that's great. All right. So, most girls your age would kill for your talent. <laughs> what would be your advice to them? My advice to them is to black out negativity, first and foremost, because negativity, it plays with your mind and it makes you think that you can't do what you can't do. And I personally think that you should believe in yourself, not only have people believe in you, but once you believe in yourself and believe what, what you can do is best, you don't really need to listen to what people has to say. And practice, I'm not going to say practice makes perfect, but it makes room for improvement. And I have seen that because when I practice, like I said, my mother has been <laughs> telling me over and over, but practicing, it definitely makes room for improvement. So just keep your head on, believe in yourself, and you'll be fine. You are a perfect example of practice makes improvement. And we're so glad that you can now say today that you are a very well-trained makeup artist on your own. Thank you. How can I... Clients, future clients, book an appointment with you. How can we reach you? Future clients, um, you can reach me on Instagram at beautydesires, B E U dot T Y desires. I'm actually working on a website. Mm -hmm. So I was waiting until I would make six days, I could make the website so it could be easier for clients to book. So, yes, wait out for that in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, so speaking about websites, what advice would you give other young MUAs? Who wants to open a business? To open a business, you definitely need the finances because let me tell you, makeup expensive. <laughs> when I say expensive, imagine. I mean expensive. You need the finances, you need the courage, um, you definitely need to be kind to your clients, you need to have like open conversations because if it's a small business, you definitely need some kind of relationship with the people that you are interacting with. 